Since we're so close by, I say we take a trip back into those mines. Because we got some uh, upgrade materials to get. And we're getting we're getting closer to the DLC. I'm uh, recording this on June 8th, 2024, in case you're wondering. And the DLC comes out on the 21st, I think. Hey, look at that. Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> oh, there are dogs. There you go. So they didn't. It's not like they all got mutated into the dino dogs. I was like, what if that's the most important item in the whole game and I missed it? Gotta, gotta read this stuff. Ashen remains blah, 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 uses some of the spirit of a rotten stray. Spirit of a stray dog corrupted by the scarlet rot. Though it is only a small creature, it is as violent as it is nimble. And its fangs fester with poisonous rot. Alright, let's have some fun. Does the light go away when I rest? It does not. Good. Now we we came here really early on in the playthrough. As we got uh We got uh Uh was like like teleported here using some through some kind of mist? I guess we haven't really talked about that. What's up? What was up with that mist? So we found out that these creatures seem to think Millicent is... Is a god. Now, I don't know if it's specifically these ones or the just the ones that we found before. That were by... By her side. They seem to be a little bit different, those ones. We got the rules there. Or wait, did I already get a lot of the upgrade materials in here? I don't remember. Anyways, there's there's other things. We didn't really explore this whole thing. Definitely other things to find. Victory achieved! <laughs> oh, that guy killed us so many times. Can't jump up there. Okay. Getting acrobatic. Okay. I don't. Oh, I guess I. Yeah. I do want to jump up to here because that's what gets us to this. Okay. Oh. Okay. Did I screw that up? Really needed that. Really needed it. There we go. Oh, I hate that sound. Okay, this is that's more like a guard. Felt like.
Got to check them all. Ooh, I think we might need that. Or was it six that we needed? Oh, the gurgling. Why? Why is it always gurgling? It's not going to teleport me back, is it? That would be... <gasps> oh, I love finding new sorceries. How many of these? We've got one. So this is a glintstone sorcery of the Academy. Imbues the fair rule of the caster's staff with magic, then thrusts it into the ground to create a massive magical shock wave. Hold to continue moving without striking the ground, and then push the end of the staff into enemies. An enhanced version of the Glintstone Miner Stone Digger Sorcery. I think that's what that guy did to us just a few moments ago. Oh. So I think it's down five. We'll have to uh, try that. Ah, okay, we're above. Wasn't, wasn't there a ladder to push down? Right there. Right there. else here feels like a place we could drop down but no we've already been there we're but we're above where we were whoa i remember there was a ton of those in the game first release there seems to be fewer yeah that's that's a trap Okay, those might be worse than the hands. I took care of him. Oh, this, this guy's got the wiggles. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <sighs> Faithful's canvas talisman. So these are the faithful? I guess. Still wiggling. Talisman bearing an icon that depicts a group of masked figures. Raises potency of incantations. The figures represent the flock at prayer. Their firm belief in the intangible, inspiring, even the solitary founder of their religion. What is faith if not an affirmation? Masked figures. I don't know what that is. That would have been a cool place to put. Uh... Mimicry. That would have been a cool place to put an illusory wall because they're like 
praying towards it. Now. It's skin. Right? It looks like skin. Masks. Masked figures. There are, there is a skin faction that we'll learn a lot more about later on. Huh? I guess they're saying they wanted a sight of grace there. You're spoiling the boss. Oh, shit. These dudes are cool. Ten in here. Oh, she just saved my butt. Bug like again. Another comet. Oh god! Okay. Oh! And they use comet or gravity magic. Oh yeah! Victory achieved! Smithing stone, somber smithing stone, gravity stone chunk, somber stone miners, bell bearing. <laughs> I got it this time. Everyone says ball bearing, but it's actually bell bearing. I feel like I've missed something here. But I think that, I think that's it. Somber Smithing Stone 1 and 2, Glintstone Scrap. The ball, sorry, the bell bearing of a miner who once dug for Somber Smithing Stones. That's like, not very, <laughs> that's very vague. Okay, that was that was a pretty cool fight. That that was that that could be really tough. But um appropriately leveled and we had Latena there. Okay, so what's 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 left here? I mean there's a lot. We did Fort Gale. Oh, look at that. Let's go back to here. And we'll go south. There's a finger reader there. Yeah, but there's a lot to do. I felt like we were like almost wrapping this up, but at least in the southern part. But no. Okay, we're hooking up with the road. We just need to follow that. Oh, 
Oh, that's good too. We haven't even gotten the map for this area. I don't think we went there. Did that. We zoom in. I think we've been there. Did that. Probably look around more in the lake, though. Oh, yeah, and we want to go back. So, yeah, I think probably... I don't I don't think we know where... What the... It, it, I think it's probably just, like, old, very old giants. And maybe not fire giants. Just... I think the idea is, like... like we see it over and over and over again, these old civilizations that have... That have died right that maybe were the like the apex predators or owned this area and then they ended up dying i wonder if these are supposed to be rem remnants of them as well oh yeah look at that that looks skullish doesn't it i think these are all supposed to be maybe all supposed to be remains of those colossus let's call them Neat. Okay, how do I get out of here? There we go. No eyes. You look very happy. <laughs> you. Please. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. <gasps> Bless you. She's getting off. Are you one for festivals or flowers? To the south, a grand festival to make the stars turn. To the east, the heart and bud of a flower to be. But dare you enter into the heart of the scarlet rot. The bud of a flower to be. So they're talking about Millicent. And then the festival, Radan's festival. You. you no! No, I'm giving you one chance. It's creeping me out. I think we follow the road now. And we'll uh just kind of, oh, we got we got the Urtree's favor. Just kind of see what catches our fancy. To camp over here. Oh, I forgot about that spell. How far does this go? Not that far. Oh, yeah, it does. Did that knock him down? Possible they're running back up to kill me. I don't see the corpse. I'm pretty sure I knocked him off of there, though. Wait, something's moving. Oh, there they are.
Oh, I found it. I read about that Colise the Colosseum guys, the Jar Warrior dudes. They're actually um, builds of players that have beaten them. So it's like random. They, it, ran it randomly chooses players that have beaten them and uses their build. That kind of stuff is so cool. That's what's so amazing about the multiplayer in this game. Like, you can... You know, it's just... You, you don't have to engage with other players, but it still has an impact. And I guess if you're offline, it's probably some default set of guys. Don't think? Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, I've got to, I got to, oh, I should have changed my spells. I don't want to rest right now. I've, oh. Yeah, I have an idea for this one. Did we already have a mad pumpkin? Some. There they are. Oh, but I, I probably won't be able to. Uh. Should upgrade those. That's not the right attack for these guys. Didn't quite navigate that. I don't think they jump. That exploding sound you're hearing. Oh. Uh, the exploding sound you're hearing is the the Scarlet Rot Lake. Okay. Aristocrat headband. There we go. Travel attire worn by nobles in the capital. Find gold work. Abandoning their birthplace after the shattering, these undead wanderers are the pitiful product of unending life. So once again, the rune of destined death has been locked away. And it's just, everyone just wants an item every time. Time for jumping. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. There's your precious item. Well, there we go. We know that's a noble now. They give you somber smithing stone, it seems. I'm really curious about those the nobles on a, on a chair. It'd be neat to see them mapped out to see if there's some kind of pattern. Okay. Wait. Oh, we're, we're back at the castle.
But I don't think I've been down here. And there's that swampy bit. We haven't explored yet, but let's get back to the road. Thing up there. I like I like the like if you look at this, it's clearly a tree, but it also looks like a horn. You know, there's definitely these comparisons between trees and the antlers, I guess, more than horns. But horns too, right? And that's the the like those ancient followers are all about the buds growing on a horn as opposed to a tree. I think it's the idea is it's, you know, life can take different forms. Like all of his growth is kind of gross to us. Like we tend to think of fungus as gross, but it's a different kind of life. Just because we don't consider it to be Hell? Beautiful doesn't mean uh, it's not equally a kind of life. Why am I? Why is it so hard to hit those? I get just constantly hitting the ground. Annual aim. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> you got me. if I could make more of those. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have 11, 9, 4, 12, 6. I think I assume they use the same materials. No, I guess not. Yeah, they don't. Okay. Sorry if I seem a little more uh, listless. Kind of just exploring. I don't know Caleb that all that well. And I'm, I'm, a little, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit tired. I've, I've been like really pushing to keep going. Keep keep up on this. But I guess, I don't know. Maybe Maybe it's just my perception. Maybe I'm not actually moving slower than I was before. It feels like it. I think I prefer Liurnia to this area, though. The Lifesteal Fist. That one should be easy to find. Uh, demonstrates mastery of the art of controlling vital energies. A slow controlled punch with an energy infused fist that renders foes unconscious and steals their HP. Only effective against foes of human build. Fist and claws. When I played the uh, Bloodborne DLC, 
I went all full beast. Oh, that was so much fun. Devastating, but it's one of those risk reward things. Because I your your beast level goes up, the more damage you do, but the more damage you take. As well. I thought we might be close. We need four thousand. Imagine we've picked up more of these. I don't think we have enough, though. So I'd rather not use them because if I die and lose the runes, then that's that. The Battle of Aeonia. Radan and Millennia locked in stalemate. Then the Scarlet Rot blooms. There you go. There's the whole story right there which we talked about last time. They both fought to a standstill, and then Millennia couldn't hold back the rot in her anymore, because she was tired, I would assume, and worn out, and she let it loose. And this oh, is how. Welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way, right this way. Okay, you're a little, you're a little more eager than the rest of them. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please. Okay. Your stock kind of sucks, but, uh... I guess I'll, I'll buy one of these. There you go. I feel bad. Y you're welcome. Like. Clearly not a Canadian. I'm just kind of looking for items on these branches so I'm up here not seeing any though wait torrents hurt oh shoot did I use these did I use this Great, I checked her level. See, that goes to show you. I'm a little, I'm a little tired. Definitely use that one. Do you think there's something up there, though? I don't know how I would get up there. Way at the top? I, I bet you when you rest, you... It recovers all of uh, Torrent's health, right? Is there another? Yeah, there's another one right here. What's this one called? The Swamp Shore. Oh, spells. This time I remembered. I definitely want to use that other mist. Uh, is that not a spell? 
Oh, I didn't buy it. Shit. I want to go buy the some of those spells and the runes we have. Did they leave? No, they're still there. Those are the ones I was talking about. Seem to. Oh damn! There's. There's, uh, vampires, too. Oh, yeah, I didn't go that way. Shh. Okay, 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 okay. Right, 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 right. We did not go this way. hear about it <laughs> I don't know why I was jumping around like that too. <laughs> uh, I don't know what sound that was no biggie Get those runes back. Ooh, item. Draw a string, please increase. Bats here. I feel like I'm getting less of the refreshes. Oh, I'm a flask. there. There we go. Probably because I had to take them all out. Demi-humans. I thought there was one left. That 
red sky with the tree. Ooh. Revenge. Let there be revenge. What revenge? We suck to revenge. Huh. Because of the warrior, the jars? Was that dude smashing him or something? Hmm. Maybe they just got their butts kicked. Oh yeah, we need to go to there. So let's swing back. They still haven't gotten the map. Expect Urtree. No rum. Big old castle. Haradan. Let's head down. If we can. Try bow. On what? Then offer sorcery. Okay. Is there someone in there at night? I feel like I'm missing something here. And the other place, the other place said to come to go there at night, but there was nothing. By that shack? And there's no grace here, so I can't rest. Oh, I never freaking checked out the castle there. Marionettes. There's a lot of them here.
Protecting the entrance to Celia? I don't turn anymore. I only jump <laughs> to turn. Huh. Oh, there's one. It's so funny. Like, I set out to go to get that sorcery. But then I was like, wait, I haven't gone there yet. And then I, something grabbed my eye, so I went back to that. <laughs> and then I ended up here and I, uh, or the, something grabbed my eye before checking out the castle. And now, now I'm, I can't get back to the castle. Uh, no, I want the magic. Okay, well, I'll just ride there. I can check out what's going on here as well. Aha. Is it always Erd Tree and then Old Codger? Yeah, they're looking at the Erd Tree this time for sure. Well, this gives us a chance to check this out. I, mean, I wanted to come back here as well. Swamp. I kind of want to take out those Rot Soldiers. them to drop more stuff. They also have cool armor. Those kind of look like the uh, Crystallians attacks, but with uh, gold, gold magic instead of it being an incantation instead of well I guess it's not a sorcery it's just they carry those things right I don't, I don't know if it's a sorcery like just something they can do with their weapons nice ah ha ha clean rot helm that's gonna be super heavy winged helm of the clean rot knights celebrated for their undefeated campaign in the shattering so they remember them and Radan fought to a standstill, so neither of them lost. The Clean Rot Knights vowed to fight alongside Millennia, despite the inevitable, if gradual, putrefaction of their flesh. Their acceptance of their fate made these battles the fiercest of all. So because she uh, was infected with the rot or whatever, she was also infecting those around her. Corrupted by the rot. I don't know. I don't know what the term is. Overwhelmed by the rot. I wonder if that's where the, uh, the her children come from. The buds, the buds that end up maturing.
Hi. Poison mist. Creates a poison mist. Bathe armament in poison and then slash spreading toxic mist forwards. The armament retains its poison for a while. Beware of Scarlet Rod, thanks. <laughs> that just hit me. Wh where? Yeah. This is going this far, doesn't it? Damn. That comet attack. Brutal. Brutal against uh, computer enemies. I should have used one of those things that gives me better item find. I never checked this out. This looks like a little... Oh. This is where the freezing mist comes in handy. <laughs> Come at me. Come at me, bros. Come at me. They're not coming at me. Those are big! I didn't realize they were that big. It doesn't last as long as I thought it did. Oh my god, those are gigantic. That's really gross. Once again, we shouldn't judge. Just a different kind of life. Hard not to, though. Not a huge fan of bugs. Which is weird, because honestly, they're not really that dangerous. Uh, people are far more dangerous. Pound for pound. Well, no, I guess not pound for pound. You're more likely to get hurt by a person than a bug. Like, seriously hurt. You know when people criticize characters in movies for running straight away from something when they could just turn to the side? I've learned by playing these games that it's just a reaction that we have. Even though it's obvious that we should turn to the side, we tend to just run straight away from, from danger. Because we don't think, right? We're just reacting. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if we can finally do one of the things that I set out to do. I really want to check up there, but it's there's so much, so much crap. It's probably just a waste of time. 
probably isn't actually anything up there. I think I already have glintstone stars, don't I? This is number held. One, yeah. Uh, so I want to go here. Back to the church. And then we'll, uh, we'll equip those spells. I believe the mist hurts me also. So we got to be careful about that. Let's replace Meteorite because I'm not using it. It's going to be good against a really big enemy that's not too mobile. Semi invisible magic projectiles. I really like Cannon. I like Rock Sling. I like Gavel. I like these, even though I've been using them a lot. I think I'll maybe we'll switch gavel up. Oh yeah, we got rock blaster. Yeah, let's try that. It's fun trying out all these different spells. And now finally we'll see if we can what we can do at this gatehouse. I don't remember ch ever checking this out before, like, even in my other playthrough. My first one. Okay, that was some nice reaction time, Luckless. Make sure there's a lot of them. Shard seems to kind of suck. Oh, God. So that would be a replacement for Swift Glintstone Shard, it would seem. Can I charge it? No. Whew. Still don't quite understand how this rock blaster works. Did you hit me with a book? Oh! <laughs> okay. So you want to get close, and then when you hit someone with it... Oh, or when you let go, okay. Oh, that's that seems pretty nasty. A black key bolt. This is the one thing that I think has some interesting info on it. Out of the bolts. The intricate spiral tip bores deep, injecting scarlet rot far into the flesh of its target. Bolts used in Crepus's Black Key Crossbow, an assassin's tool of exquisite craftsmanship. So we're getting more hints that this is where the assassins came from. Or trained here or something. 
Crepus's black key crossbow. Uh, weapon of Crepus, who served the two fingers from the shadows of the round table as the head confessor. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't heard a lot about the confessors, eh? But that's weird that they would serve the two fingers, but also help Rani, right? We should convince them something's up. Them. I know what you're thinking. Why are you doing that, Luckless? I'm just wondering if there's a hidden thing. Let's just get up higher. I don't think so. Ah, we could go down there. Yeah, we could. Okay, that's cool. We could. We can do that after we check out this. One thing I can do is we can compare to see if the Swift Glintstone Shard. Two seventy two. So it's about the same. Weird, that it did more that time. Maybe it's from behind? Sorcery can be used without delay after performing another action. What about the other one? Cast repeatedly while in motion. So a little bit different. I think the idea is to do melee and then that. Combine the two together. This is going to tell me if there's an item. Oh, secret head. Okay. Thank you. You know what? This is a good one. That's why it's got so many appraisals. Whatever. <laughs> Maneuvering on the horse. Oh, shit. Uh, we fought one of the ha this is like a hound or something we fought one called davril was that its name is it did, is, did i did something just get knocked loose when we were fighting uh we were fighting them with uh blythe swamp lookout tower Eternal Darkness? I gotta play that game sometime. Forbidden Sorcery of Celia, Town of Sorcery. Creates a space of darkness that draws in sorceries and incantations? Originally a lost sorcery of the Eternal City. The despair that brought about its ruin made manifest? Okay, well, um, so... 
So now we're hearing that the eternal one of the eternal cities, we know there's at least two, I think. Nakran and Nakstella. One of them was ruined. And it's related to this. And it was made forbidden. But we're getting more like more night magic, right? And it's saying below Celia Nakran sleep, so presumably it's Nakran that got maybe got destroyed. That's neat. It's right. It, so it's that's awesome if you're fighting against a mage. It just sucks in all the sorceries. How how what's the inch required for that? 35. I don't think we can go up there. Definitely did not get that before.